Hey guys, it's episode 213. So I outlined this drawing in a video. It was really a video ago. There's like the video about the fan that I got, this mini desktop fan, and now it's back to drawing. So the face may look a bit flat on the picture because I'm actually filming like kind of, kind of slant, but it's more upright than anything it's not really down like flat so you so the angle is a bit weird for the face but hopefully you guys don't mind um i colored in the hair and the skin just so that way it's safe time on that uh so yeah let's get started i'm going to do this um so i'm going to choose a color that i don't normally choose for this sweater this is called crimson lake it's like a purpley pink so see how that turns out So I'm just coloring in the hood. I'm still deciding, um, I made some drawings, some more drawings that have like mechs and stuff, but I'm not sure if I want to use markers for it. I mean, markers would look really nice for like, it gives it that bold look, so I'm kind of deciding if I should use markers. I'm still a bit intimidated by using markers. I haven't used them in a while because of that. I kind of don't want to ruin anything. It My last picture kind of turned out okay. Like, my logo, for example, is one of the ones where I colored in marker. It was pretty good, but the skin tone just turned out a bit darker than I expected. It was like really pink. It was light peach color and that's what the label said and it was labeled that color but looking at it it does look like the skin is a bit darker and a bit more pinkish. I think that's not really what I had in mind for the skin tone but it happened. So yeah, and now I'm going to shade with the shade that is one step darker, and this is Tuscan Red, so it's just a pretty dark reddish, and I'll just shade, it's like a purpley red. Kind of like burgundy, but a bit more purplish, I guess. So here it is, just going over. And I'm doing the pockets now, shading the pocket areas, and just the bottom part a little. And inside the hoodie, I want it to be this dark, because that's kind of the darkest point in the hoodie. 
because you can't really see much of it and it's covered by the skin and everything so there um I guess for the shirt inside I can leave it white I want to do something with the pants though This drawing will kind of have quite a bit of black on it because the cattails, I wanted to match my other one, so it's going to be pretty black. It's going to be a black tail again for the cat parts. So here is the leg and the other leg. Okay, and I'm just going to press harder for a bit of shading, not necessarily a lot. I don't need so much shading on these pants. There. Okay. And I'm going to sharpen this, actually. <clears throat> Grab my box of... It's actually my kind of is my tiny garbage bin is a box that had chocolates in it once and I just put my shavings there okay so I'm gonna sharpen on the side shavings got over my hand okay so Next up is, I guess, the tail. I made the tail really fluffy um because I wanted to kind of copy the logo picture that I drew if you guys look at my logo right now it's that picture with the maid cat yeah so I wanted to kind of copy that tail that I made previously And now I'm just pressing harder to shade a bit. Um, just a few areas only. I don't want to overdo the shading. I want it to be kind of natural. Okay, and now it's the ears. So... Just lining the ears. The middle soft fluffy part is actually just going to stay white. But other than that, everything else is going to just be black. So I'm going to outline, I mean shade the ears too, just to give it 
a nice look. I know for my past weeks, it's been kind of on and off for drawing, so um, I'll talk when I do these headphones. So everything has been kind of on and off. I kind of just wanted to talk about that for a bit. It's... Because what happens is when I get a haul, I want to do it. And I tend to get a bunch of stuff from different places. So I don't really want to just... So I want to do it all right away. So that way it's like I got something new and then you guys see it. And I don't want it to be that you guys see it way after I got it so there is like that time limit I want to stay on so that way you guys know that it's currently new but also because I filmed my videos beforehand it's kind of hard to tell you guys that that was new when I'm already doing that so that's why when I do haul videos I push them out all within um, my last week, I pushed a lot of stuff out in just one week and condensed it. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I got beforehand and then I just showed in that week because I didn't show it right away. Just um, because a lot of the stuff that I pushed off was so that way I could do some of my art videos. So a lot of it is pushed off just not on well on purpose so that way you guys can have a little break from it so i'm gonna use this carmen red for the headphones and that's why it's kind of been on and off it's kind of i kind of have those weeks that are just haul videos and then those days which have some drawing videos and then some haul videos uh i want to do i want i still want to focus more on the art videos though except it takes way longer to film them i would say and also there's there's the specific times when i like now that my brother's at work more i have more silence so during those times I can film but it's kind of unfortunate on Fridays I can't film at all when I get home because at 4 o'clock so I get home uh, school stops at 310 and I get home at like 320 30 ish and then right away I have to leave house at home at like 4 o'clock for a youth group because our church is pretty far from where we live um, the, and I'm going to use this darker crimson red to shade. And that's kind of a day that I put, I hold off any filming because I can't come home and film late at night at like 12 or 1 o'clock. Because by that time, my eyes are like tired and it's really sleepy. So I just feel that the drawing videos take a long time and then. I end up pushing them farther back just because other videos take shorter time. Like, I don't know if you guys understand what I mean by that. So, there is that problem that I deal with constantly, but I do want to do more art videos. That's why I've been trying to push myself to do more art videos even though it takes longer i'm still gonna do them sometimes um like i'm going to use terracotta for the highlight of the eyes but anyways um sometimes like for example the outlining of this cat drawing and the one with my friend with angel wings i did that 
back to back on one day only and that's a good thing so sometimes i might push myself to do that more just to have videos on the go so i can keep uploading until i'm like done because until so that way i'm not out oh, the reason why i wanted to film more often now and have it done because now it's like two weeks or three weeks ahead of time the reason why i want to do that is just to have a steady pace a steady amount that i can just keep pushing out so that way i don't have to, i don't have to worry about each day i have to film something so this is raw umber i'm just going to color the eyes and keep explaining so just to have that steady pace is pretty good because what happened is i used to film every day and i would film it per day so the day i filmed is the day i would put it up the next day um but the problem i had with that is it took quite a while to film and then the next day if i didn't film anything or i felt a bit sick or tired or something was off with my mood or i just plainly forgot for some reason it's a pain to try and do that because i will always constantly forget or not do it and then the next day there wouldn't be any video for any videos for at least the steady amount of people who watch my channel to watch so having that said i kind of push for a more push for more videos done beforehand so that way i can have that little set of videos that i can keep pushing that's why i always tell you guys i film kind of beforehand and really when i say beforehand normally it's one to two weeks if i keep doing it it's one to two weeks or even more it depends on how much videos i decide to do in one day or certain days but yeah so that's kind of my little explanation of what's going on. I sort of want to do more art videos though, as I've said before. So there, I'm going to try and push for more of that. I haven't really gotten anything, so that's kind of a good thing because if I don't get anything on the weekend, I can just push for what I want to do with this channel more um the reason why i did haul videos is because sometimes i can't art isn't really consistent consistent so you don't know when you have an idea and when you won't have an idea so usually those haul vi videos are really good for fillers and yeah that's why i use them and plus a lot of people are interested, so I just do that. So, here is, well, I'm picking up my tablet. Here is my overview of my drawing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My next video, I'll be coloring this one. Um, this video turned out pretty long because of my previous talking. I talked for, like, more than two minutes, probably. But, yeah, so this one will be colored next and uh, i really liked how it turned out the darker red shading is more of my favorite thing um i didn't want it to be like extremely bright red like the ears so yeah i'm still debating on whether or not i should use the markers for my new drawings just hopefully i can decide by the time I'm done outlining them. So yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.